Dog washing is much different than the sport. It's more of a lifestyle. I'm Alex Schwarz and I'm a dog musher. I live in Innery, it's about 300 kilometers north of the polar circle. Um, it can get up to minus 50 degrees here, so it's pretty cold to live without electricity and no running water. And this is, I think, very simple and very um, beautiful life then. So, let's feed some puppies. In the morning, first thing we do is uh, feeding the puppies, then giving um, some kind of soup for the dogs. Uh, it's just water with uh, meat. Me and my girlfriend Dinia, we have together 85 dogs. From the 85 dogs, there are um, 14 racing dogs. What is quite important for sled dogs is that they are good eaters. We have Alaskan Huskies, Siberian Huskies, also Greenland dogs, and then we have also some wolf hybrids, so they are mixed with Husky and wolf. Dog mushing is a, a way of moving with dogs. Dogs are pulling a sled and you are standing on the sled and going with a team of dogs through the snow. Of course, sled dog races are a big part of it. And this is what I love to do, to make races with the dogs. There are different kinds of sled dog races and I'm doing the long distance races between 300 and 500 kilometers. I will train them about uh, four to five times per week so that they have enough uh, recovery time between the training runs. And just before the races, then they have more free time to get all the energy back in the body and are in full loaded when we go into races. The first time when I was driving a sled dog team, it was such an uh, amazing experience to see the dogs, how they love to run and how they love to work first time driving with a dog team, I was immediately hooked. For me, it was clear that this is something what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> I am looking at every dog is happy and they have no issues, that all the tails are up. Of course, I am also checking all the paws and joints, especially the two lead dogs. It's Nanga, the black one, and uh, Roger, the big white one. So they have to be the uh, most closest to me. And Okay. Yeah. Roger's ready to run, he says. <laughs> He's ready to run. Yeah. The most difficult part of dog mushing is maybe to understand the dogs, read the dogs, what they need, what they want, and make the right decisions and take the best possible care of the dogs. It's like a, a coach. Um, you're standing there on the runners of the sled and looking all the time at the dogs. You see where one dog wants to run. If he gets a little bit tired in lead position, then you switch him back a little bit more in the team and so he can mentally rest a little bit and give uh, another dog uh, the chance to be in lead. It's a pretty uh, complex team what you're driving there and so it's uh, really nice to, to be involved in it to make it run uh, nicely. Every minute on the race, it's just fun to be out there with your dog team. They are not only dogs, they are also the best friends. To go out with them is an adventure, it's just, uh, just amazing. When you're out there in the wilderness with a dog team, it's uh, always a little risk. Uh, cold temperature or open water or something like this. Yeah, if you lose the sled and the dogs are gone, then it gets pretty dangerous. Then you're alone out there and you have to find a way back home. and. This can get pretty dangerous. Yeah, in future I want to take part at the Finnmark Club at 1,000 kilometer race. It is a, a dream of me to also participate in, in Alaska and Canada at the Yukon Quest and Iditarod. Road. Because these are the biggest races what you can do with dog mushing and uh, let's say the Olympia of dog mushing. And of course it's, it would be a great adventure to drive these races too.